Jambo, sana banani. Bawani, salam. Welcome to Inside Africa. In today's video we'll be looking at one of Africa's best ever strikers, none other than the Ivorian King Didier Yves Drogba Tbili. The football legend who stopped a war. When people hear the name Didier Drogba, they often think of the fearsome striker who terrorized defenders across Europe, most notably during his time at Chelsea FC. They think of his incredible ability to score in the biggest moments, like that dramatic Champions League final in 2012 where his header and decisive penalty brought Chelsea their first ever European title. But to reduce Drogba's legacy to just his footballing prowess would be to miss an even bigger part of his story. Drogba is more than just a footballer, he's a peacemaker, a hero to his country, and a symbol of hope. Born on March 11, 1978, in Abidjan, Ivory Coast, Didier Drogba's path to stardom wasn't always straightforward. Like many African players, he faced challenges growing up in a country where football was a passion but opportunities were scarce. At the age of five, Drogba was sent to France to live with his uncle, a professional footballer, in search of better opportunities. There, he began developing the skills that would eventually make him a household name. His professional career kicked off in France with clubs like Le Mans, Guingamp, and Marseille, where his powerful play caught the attention of Chelsea, who signed him in 2004. At Chelsea, the Drogba became an instant sensation. He led the club to four Premier League titles, four FA Cups, and that unforgettable Champions League win in 2012, scoring in almost every major final. His ability to shine in big matches earned him the nickname the Big Game Player. Yet, while his exploits on the pitch made him one of the most feared strikers in the world, his greatest victory was arguably off the field. While Drogba was conquering European football, his home country, Ivory Coast, was being torn apart by civil war. The conflict began in 2002, splitting the nation into a rebel-held north and a government-controlled south. It was a violent, brutal war that claimed thousands of lives and displaced many more. For five years, peace seemed like a distant dream until Didier Drogba stepped in. In 2005, after the Ivorian national football team qualified for the 2006 World Cup, Drogba used the moment to deliver a powerful message. Standing in the locker room with his teammates just after their victory, Drogba addressed the people of Ivory Coast through a live television broadcast. With his teammates kneeling beside him, Drogba pleaded, Ivorians, from the north, the south, the center, and west, we prove today that all Ivorians can coexist and play together with a shared aim to qualify for the World Cup. We promised you that the celebration would unite the people, please lay down your weapons and hold elections. It wasn't just a symbolic gesture, it was a plea for peace from a man who, at that moment, had the ears of an entire nation. And remarkably, it worked. His words, combined with the collective pride of the World Cup qualification, helped broker a ceasefire. Leaders from both sides of the conflict were influenced by Drogba's call for unity, and the country began the long process of peace talks and eventual elections. Drogba's role in this moment went beyond football, he had managed to transcend sports to become a unifying figure, someone his country could rally behind during its darkest times. But Drogba didn't stop there. In 2007, in a powerful gesture, the national team played a match in the rebel stronghold of Buake, which symbolized a significant step toward national reconciliation. The match was attended by both the rebel leaders and government officials, further showing the power of football and Drogba's influence to bring people together. For his efforts, Drogba was named the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, Goodwill Ambassador. Not content with just stopping a war, Drogba's mission to give back to his homeland continued after his football career. In 2007, he launched the Didier Drogba Foundation, focusing on healthcare and education in Ivory Coast. One of the foundation's flagship projects was the construction of a hospital in Abidjan, something Drogba had long dreamed of. His efforts to use his wealth and fame for social good earned him widespread recognition, including a place on Time magazine's 100 Most Influential People list in 2010. Through his foundation, Drogba has continued to support his country, providing medical services, scholarships, and other forms of assistance to those in need. His impact on Ivory Coast is not just measured by goals or trophies it's seen in the tangible improvements to the lives of the people in his homeland. Didier Drogba's story is one of determination, talent, and, above all, a heart. While he will always be remembered for his feats on the pitch, his powerful runs, bullet headers, and clutch performances, it's his work of the field that truly sets him apart. 
Drogba's role in stopping the civil war in Ivory Coast is a testament to the power of sport to unite and heal and to the extraordinary influence one person can have when they use their platform for good. As Ivory Coast continues to rebuild and heal from its tumultuous past, Drogba remains a beloved figure, a national hero whose legacy transcends football. He has shown the world that even in the midst of chaos, unity and peace are possible. For Didier Drogba, scoring goals was easy, bringing a country together was his true victory. We hope you found that informative and interesting. Remember to leave your thoughts down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We are on the road to 2,000 subscribers. This is Inside Africa.